Hey everybody, it's Rafi from Zerg. And it's K-Ball from Zerg. And, and this is the Foundation Insider. Before we get going, I want to do a quick shout out. Dave Horan from New York on our last Insider commented that if I had a double espresso, I might blow a gasket. <laughs> Dave, just for you, I've been keeping track of all of my coffee consumption this week. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday was a good day, Thursday, Friday, we're just getting going. In fact, John, coffee? Mr. Paul, I really don't think you should have another cup of coffee. Just coffee, John. All right, there you go. Anyways, uh, back to the Foundation Insider. So Foundation 6.4 is already shaping up to be really amazing. So not only is Foundation stepping up its JavaScript game, but there's also an integration with one of the hottest tools out there, which is Webpack. So Kevin, can you tell us more about Foundation and Webpack? Foundation and Webpack. So you may not have heard about Webpack if you're not deep in the JavaScript community, but you will soon. It has gone from zero to almost four million downloads a month in lightning time. They just released Webpack 2.0 and Rails 5.1, Ruby on Rails just announced they're gonna ship with native Webpack integration. So guess what? Webpack's coming to Foundation too. We're building the JavaScript components using Webpack and the templates that we ship will have Webpack built in from the bottom up. What this is requiring is a top to bottom rewrite. We are going in and refactoring every single piece of JavaScript in the foundation code base to use full ECMAScript 2016 module dependency. That's gonna have a ton of benefits down the road, but one of the first things you're gonna see is speed. Yeah, I really hate wasting time every time I hit save and waiting for the JavaScript to recompile. So it's gonna break it down from something like 10 seconds down to one second, so it's really amazing. Yeah, Webpack is blazingly fast, and it's fast both in development, but it also packages things up optimally for production. Super cool, we're really excited about it. And Foundation 6.3.1 is shipping next week, which is gonna come with a lot of hot bug fixes. Hot bugs? No, hot bug fixes. Hot. <laughs> Speaking of coffee, our sponsor this month is Coffee Cup Software. They make an amazing product called Foundation Framer, which allows you to build foundation websites visually, so you can drag and drop and create your websites. It comes with interactive components and pre-built components, and it all exports out to code. So Foundation Framer is really awesome. I'll include a link below, so definitely check it out. You won't be sorry. <laughs> All right, that's it for this month's newsletter brought to you by Coffee. And Coffee Cup Software. Also, if you guys want to learn more about Foundation and Webpack, make sure to read the newsletter that we're going to link below. And if you want to ask questions or get involved, just chime in in the comments below this video. We'll get back to you as quick as we can. All right, thanks, guys. Till next month.